All right, what's going on, guys? I'm Iron Business 01, one of the hosts for Discount Gaming. Yeah. Um, we've been getting a lot of questions about the uh, the free to play games. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to go through and play every single free to play game on there. Um, on the well, on market. yeah, on the PlayStation Market. I've already Especially downloaded quite a few of them. Yeah. Um, so the way that this is going to work is I will not be playing games that I consider demos. What I mean by that is like Dead or Alive 6 Core oh, Fighters, uh, Final Fantasy NT free mode or uh, free version, uh, Hitman Season 1 starter pack. I don't consider those games. I consider those demos at best. So we will be covering just the full games. And what these are going to consist of is... I'm going to play the game for about an hour and then come back, do my reviews and my recommendations on them and try to keep them just around a couple of minutes. That way, if you guys are thinking about it, you don't have to watch a 45 minute video. You can just get the opinions, get the idea on what you're looking at and make a decision. So our first one is Caravan Stories. Um, I've seen stuff online about this. And if you guys hear talking in the background, that is because Akali and Chaotic Bash are actually both here. Yes, I have the camera pointed at you. Yep. Har -har. Did you just flip my guys off? I did. Rude. Yeah, kind of rude there. Jeez. Anyway, um, so I no man. I thought was nice. Yeah, fair point. So, Caravan Stories. Um, I've seen stuff online about this. And it was classified as an MMORPG with world building kind of peppered into it. In the hour that I played it, I did not see any MMORPG traits or world building, at least not yet. Um, the art style, as you can see, because I've just got the trailer looping in, uh, in the background, um, is very... It, it, it's very... I, I don't know how to describe this. It reminds me a lot of a mix of Final Fantasy Tactics, um, Vanguard, both from the PlayStation 1, um, and just a few other things. I, I really, really like the art style of this game. I love how smooth it runs. I love how vast the worlds are just in the hour that I played it. Um, it is a free-to-play game. I did not encounter any kind of pay ads or anything like that. Except for the moment where I loaded into the game. Once I dismissed that, that's all I saw. I did find it very, very interesting when it came to combat. Because the combat is a, a very odd mixture of JRPG meets tactical meets like squad command almost. So that, that took a little bit of getting used to, but once you do, it, it reminds me a lot of Star Ocean from the PlayStation 1, uh, which is an RPG that I really, really enjoyed. So combat leaves a lot of things that you could do. And that's everything from, you know, moving a character to the back to flank while you have your mage bomb from the front and your healer kind of just cover everything in between. The other interesting part that I came across right. so was whenever you fight certain monsters based on um, your main character at the time, if you will, you can actually recruit those into your party, in which case take them into battle with you. That alone makes a very, very interesting dynamic because I want to get to the point where I can see just how large of a party you can take into a single battle. Um... Because, I mean, if you're taking, you know, 6, 8, 10, 12, you know, characters in, monsters included, you could really, really do some interesting things with that because every monster has their own skills. As far as recommendations go, if you are a big RPG or JRPG fan, I would definitely give this one a shot. I've always enjoyed a really good RPG uh, with a good story. So far, this has all of that, and like I said, I've only played an hour of it, but I will definitely be investing more time into this. At a later point, I might go back and do a uh, kind of where are we now in terms of like the games after I've played them more, just to kind of give like an updated feedback on that. 
But if you are looking for an RPG that is, in fact, free to play with just a lot of system attributes and combat attributes and just a lot of stuff that comes with it, I would highly recommend to give this one a shot. Uh, the next one that I will be doing is probably going to be... Uh, let me see... Probably Dauntless, honestly. Um, we've spoken a lot about the game on the show, so I do want to give it a proper review. I've probably got close to about 200 hours logged into that game, so there's a lot that I know about it. But guys, if there is anything that you know about this game that I have not encountered yet, or if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I will be going through and keeping up with all of these. So if there's something that you want to know, or if you have you know, a lot of time invested in this game, let me know. You know, let me know if there's things that I haven't encountered yet to look forward to, or, you know, if you like or dislike the game and why. You know, I would love to read all of those because this is just my opinion. But if I can gather a generalized opinion based on, you know, myself with you guys, then that allows me to make better recommendations to people that are looking for certain games. Until then, guys, I'm Iron Business 01. As always, take care of each other, love each other, help each other, be good humans, and you are a fucking asshole. Um, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.